Winter can be a drag, especially if you live in the northern climate. This video is going to help you beat the winter blues and I am sharing five ways to pamper yourself and make it through the dark, dreary months of winter. Hi everybody, I'm Kathy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I want to thank Kimberly at Pretty Over 50 for inviting me to participate in this collab video that she put together. I will list all of the ladies that are participating in this collab in the description box. So please go check out their videos after you've watched mine. And if you're new here, thank you for coming over. I hope that you will click the subscribe button because I have a lot of great videos planned for February and I'm feeling new and refreshed because I just got back on Monday from my Caribbean cruise. My first suggestion on ways to pamper yourself and beat the winter blues is go somewhere tropical. And if you can't go somewhere tropical, maybe just plan a weekend getaway or even a day trip. Putting your focus on planning a trip really can help to change your mindset and make winter pass a little more quickly. Getting out of the cold, if you can get away for a week or a long weekend to somewhere sunny and warm, it gives you something to look forward to, but it also, I think, gets those endorphins going and it makes you feel a lot better about the dark winter days. I know living in Canada, we don't get a lot of sunlight in January and it can get bitterly cold. It's not so much the snow and the cold that can get me down, but it's just never seeing the sun. And being away the past week on a cruise really lifted my spirits and it just recharges me and I feel that I can deal with the rest of winter and it also helps it to go by quickly. Now, if you can't get away for a week, what about a weekend or even a day trip? Maybe think outside of the box and maybe travel to a city near you and possibly visit a museum. I think that having things to look forward to really help me get through the winter blahs. My next suggestion is to treat yourself to a pedicure or a facial or whatever spa treatment it is you like. There's just something that perks me up whenever I look down at my toes and they have a nice bright color painted on them. I may not be sitting on a beach in the Caribbean, but it just for a few split seconds makes me feel like I am there. And like I said before, it just gets the endorphins going, makes me feel better about winter. It just seems to help perk me up. My third suggestion would be to set up a weekly date with a friend. If I know that I'm meeting a friend every Saturday for lunch, that just gives me something to focus on for the week, something to look forward to. And I always feel better after chatting with my girlfriends. My fourth suggestion for you to beat the winter blues is take some vitamin D. I recently found out that I was deficient in vitamin D and it makes sense because in the winter I don't spend a whole lot of time outside and I don't spend a lot of time out in the sun in the summer anymore because the risk of skin cancer. My doctor told me to take 2000 units of vitamin D a day and I've been doing that now for a couple of months and I honestly can tell you that I feel a difference. I feel that I'm more energetic, I'm not getting the winter blahs like I used to get and I just feel happier and more content, I guess, knowing that I have to survive winter again. Like I said, for me living in Canada, I'm used to the cold, I'm used to the snow. The snow was pretty. What really gets us down is not having a lot of sunshine. And I really do think that taking the vitamin D does help. And just another thing that I just thought of is just putting a positive spin on the winter instead of always being negative about it, I think that can help too in making the winter more enjoyable. I think just getting outside, even for five or 10 minutes, if you just walk to the end of your driveway or walk around the block, that can really help too. Even if the sun isn't shining, you're getting fresh air, you're exercising, so that's gonna make you feel good and ready to take on the winter. You know what? If, I, if you live in the cold, you might as well embrace it because it's not going anywhere. It's coming back every year. That is what I have decided to do is just think about the positive about winter, embrace it, and time will fly by. My final suggestion for beating the winter blues is to exercise. Join a class where you actually have to leave your house and not only will you be exercising and get those feeling good hormones running, 
you might make some new friends. That's always fun. And if you really enjoy the class, then it gives you something positive to look forward to. So it's really going to perk you up and you're gonna wanna get out of the house and go to your exercise class. And if you don't wanna leave the house to go to an exercise class, there are plenty of free exercise videos on YouTube, or you might have some DVDs, or dust off that old exercise equipment out in your garage and start using it. So just to recap, my five suggestions for pampering yourself and beating the winter blues are go somewhere tropical, or if that's not an option, plan a trip for the future, get away for a weekend, or even take a day trip. Just a change of scenery often helps to change our mindset. My second suggestion was to get a spa treatment. I always like a nice pedicure or a facial. Setting, setting up a weekly date to meet a friend for lunch or just to catch up, that helps to pass the winter and it gives you something to look forward to. And after seeing your friend, you leave feeling good and ready to take on the world again. Check your vitamin D levels. Ask your doctor for, to test your vitamin D and if you're deficient, start taking the supplement. Like I said, it's really helped me this winter. And my final suggestion was to exercise by either joining a class or doing a tape at home. I hope that you've enjoyed my suggestions on how to pamper yourself and deal with the winter blahs. I wanna thank Kimberly for putting this collab together. I've enjoyed sharing my tips with you. And before you leave, please remember to subscribe and please go check out the other ladies whose videos are listed in the description box. I will see you very soon. Have a great day. Bye.